Hello dear students, till now we had been discussing about the different land use categories and how do we want to increase the intensity of cropping in India because already we have the shortage of land for the agricultural purposes and that purpose because the increasing population we need to feed them. So we discussed that how we can increase the intensity of cropping and now in this chapter we will be discussing about the various cropping seasons in India and the different types of crops which are grown under these seasons. So dear children the different cropping seasons in India are Kharif, Rabi and Zayed. So first we take up that what is Kharif? The season which starts with the onset of monsoons and continues till the beginning of the winter. So dear students, this concept must be clear to you when I said the onset of monsoons. So this is the time when the temperatures are high and with the rainfall we get a quite a sufficient amount of water. So that means the crops which will come under this category of the cropping seasons must be those crops which require high amount of water and high amount of temperature. So the major crops are rice, maize, jowar, bajra, cotton and we also include some pulses under this crop season. For example, we talk about moong dal, urad dal and groundnuts are also grown under this kharif season. Now the second season we take up that is the rabbi season. So rabbi season is the season which starts with the beginning of the winter and continues till the end of the winter or the beginning of the summer season. And the crops which come under this season are wheat, barley, gram, oil seeds etc. So children the difference between the kharif and rabbi must be clear to you. Kharif with the onset of monsoons and rabi in the beginning of the winter when we start the sowing of the crops. That season is known as rabi season. Now the third season which is known as jayad. So this is basically children is the season which falls between the kharif and rabi. So that means when we harvest the kharif crops and we haven't yet started with the sowing of the rabi crops. So that season which falls between the two is known as the jayat season. So some seeds of the pulses have been evolved which can be successfully grown in the summer season. So besides the early ripening variety of the pulses we have few other crops which we grow like watermelon, muskmelon, cucumber etc. So these are the crops which we grow between the two seasons the Kharif and the Rabi. Now we take up the types of forming. So when we say the types of forming we will be talking about the types which are based on the irrigational methods because in India the rainfall is not sufficient. So we have to depend upon the irrigational methods. So the forming is classified as irrigated and rain fed. So rain fed means that is depending upon the main source of moisture. Irrigation can be protective or productive. Now students you must be thinking about that what are these terms protective or productive. We will be discussing about this. Now what is protective irrigation? It helps in the protection of crops from the adverse effects of moisture deficiency which acts as a supplementary source of water in addition to the rainfall. Productive irrigation, it is different from protective irrigation in the sense it is meant to provide the sufficient amount of moisture in cropping season to achieve the high productivity. As right now we were discussing about few crops which require high amount of moisture and if we do not have the sufficient amount of rainfall that means we have to depend upon 
the irrigation and that two the productive irrigation. Now, the classification of the rain fed forming. So, that means the crops which are basically dependent upon the rainfall. Under that category, we divide the forming into two types. One is the dry land forming, another the wetland forming. And as the name suggests, the entire classification is based on the moisture which the soil receives and that is through the rainfall. Dry land forming is the forming which is done on the areas where the amount of rainfall is not sufficient. So when we say not sufficient, so that means children, if the rainfall is less than 75 centimeters, so that means in those areas, the forming is known as dry land forming. And for your information, about one third of the area in India comes under this category. So this category means where we are going for the dry land forming. So that means the areas where we do not receive sufficient amount of the rainfall. In dry land forming, it is necessary to conserve the rainwater. And especially you must be knowing in the state of Rajasthan, when we irrigate the field, we use the sprinklers. That concept you must have noticed somewhere on the TVs or somewhere in the other serials which you watch. There they use the sprinklers so that the less water is wasted while we are irrigating the land. Now when we talk about the wetland forming, so the areas where the amount of rainfall is more than 75 centimeters, those areas they go for the wetland forming. In these areas, more water is available in rainy season than it is required by the crops. And naturally in these areas, the crops which will be grown will be those crops which require high amount of water. For example, we talk about jute rice, sugarcane. So these are the basic crops which are grown under the wetland forming. Now children, we will be talking about the distribution of major crops in our country. Now crops we categorize under the different categories. The first category we are going to take up right now, that is the category of the food crops. Now we are taking up one of the categories of the crops, which is the food crops. The examples of the crops which come under the food crops category are rice, wheat, pulses and some coarse grains. Now what are the coarse grains? The grains which are basically grown in the hard conditions. For example, we talk about millets, maybe jowar, bajra, ragi, these are known as the coarse grains. Now the first crop under this category, what we are going to take up is rice. So rice is the most important food crop of India, which feeds more than half of our population. India is the second largest producer of rice in the world after China. Now I am telling you about the facts which are concerned with the production of rice. 22 percent of the world's rice is eating people, they are from India. 29 percent of the total rice area of the world is covered by India and 23 percent of the cropped area of India is occupied by rice. And surprisingly children, there are around 3000 varieties of rice which are grown in India because India is a vast land with the different agroclimatic conditions. Now the few conditions which are required for the production of rice, that is, it is a tropical plant. So when I say tropical, so children you must be knowing, tropical means the high temperature and high humidity requirement for the crop. So around 24 degrees Celsius of the monthly temperature is required for the crop production and 150 centimeter of an average rainfall 
is again the pre-requirement for the crop cultivation. And the areas which receive less than that amount of the rainfall, they have to depend upon the means of irrigation. And the soil required for the crop is deep fertile clay or loamy soil. And children, you must be knowing that clay has the character or the feature of retaining the moisture for a long time. So that is why this soil is used for the rice cultivation. It is a predominant crop in the floodplain areas and the river deltas. And the reason being, these areas, we have sufficient amount of the water. And this crop is labor intensive. Children, you must have seen on the roadside if you have traveled that in the paddy fields or the rice fields you so call, you must be watching the ladies or the children working while transplanting the paddy in the fields. So that means this is a work which is not done by the machines. So it's a labor intensive crop. So in the areas where plenty of population we have, they go for the production of rice because we get the cheap labor in those areas. In certain parts of West Bengal, Assam, Bihar, Odisha, Tamil Nadu, we have two to three crops of the rice obtained in a single year. And that is the reason for that is we have plenty of water in these areas. And in West Bengal, the three crops in a year which we grow of the rice, they are named as Os, Aman and Boro. These are the three qualities of rice which we grow in a year in West Bengal. So children, look at the map. It shows that these shaded states are the states which go for the production of rice. You can see the whole of the eastern coastal area of India plus few states on the western side as well which go for the production of rice. And the whole of the northern plain which is known as Indo-Gangetic plain starting from Punjab, Haryana, the whole of UP, Bihar, West Bengal. So all these states they grow the rice cultivation. So children till now we have discussed about the major crop seasons in country, dry land, wetland and under these two types of farming we grow the different types of crop according to the requirement of the crop. Requirement means the climatic conditions requirement for the crop. Then we talked about the different categories of the crops under which we have only taken up till now the one category of the crops and that is the food crops. And under that category, one crop only we have discussed till now and that is the rice. Because the majority of the people in the country, they are the rice eaters and the conditions required for the rice are high humidity and high temperature. And besides that, we have also discussed about the cropping seasons. For example, Kharif, Rabi and Chayat. And rice is the most important crop which comes under the Kharif season. Thank you, children.